Wow. This is actually the second commentary I've done in a row. Must be a new record. Anyway, hello people. This is Loud and Styles, and this is another loud and proud commentary. Today's video is going to be about Kenshi Immortal Wolf's video about Slap Happy Gamer. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. So sit back, relax, and let's get on with the video. Okay. This is going to be short. As short as my attention span? A lot of people may have noticed that a few people who cannot seem to put anything behind them have been harassing me over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Now, I found this amusing at first, just because of the fact that, you know, you'd expect backlash from something like this. Because backlash is always but fun. They don't seem to understand that they're fighting a battle that's already far f over. Now, I'm sure some of you know of Slap Happy Gamer. That I do. I kind of didn't at first. I heard about her during the Shadrick stuff and the Gyro stuff and the reason I never really paid attention too greatly to what she did or her ways of commentating was because I didn't really pay attention to that stuff. I mean, I did my part in Shadvik, but Gyro I just skipped. When it comes to other bad Sonic fans, I tend to ignore them, mostly because I myself am a Sonic fan and I'm just so sick of everybody generalizing us as one of those types of Sonic fans. Generalization sucks, but you can always ignore it. Kind of like what you did. So you get a cupcake, good sir. You know, there are sane Sonic fans who don't ruin the goddamn series. You know, just like there are occasionally sane Twilight fans. I'm currently dating one. You know, don't like it myself, never will. But point is that I let her slip under my radar because I didn't care. Then I heard about the Shadowstar drama, and... I began seeing videos of her and how she talked to Shadvik and Gyro and Shadowstar and even though I saw promise in her commentary style I noticed that she was very quick to jump over the line like so many other people. Commentators have a line? That's new. So many other people who now defend her and act like what she was doing was okay. Ah, uh, maybe because what she was doing was okay? Let me tell you this. If you think being an internet troll and an internet bully is okay, get a fucking lobotomy. Wait, didn't you say that most commentators have a thing of jumping the line, yet you said to anybody that likes being an internet troll and or internet bully that they need a lobotomy? Hmm, what's that word I'm looking for? Oh, wait, here it is. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. Also, isn't Brawl Fan a troll? Because we don't need you thinking. It's not okay. You know what? Let me go to my channel and read off one of these very interesting comments from one of our fans. There's a lot of pauses in this video. Okay, I'm just going to name names here. The Tiger Strike. Uh, he said this. Kichi, I'm not being a white knight. I'm questioning logic. <laughs> That's funny. That's the same reaction Shadowstar gives people when they try to give them advice or logic. By general consensus, a bully is defined as someone who picks on the weak in an attempt to make themselves feel better about their sad, pathetic life. Slappy is poking fun at people uh, is more comparable to me and my friends ripping on each other. We do it because we think it's funny and there is nothing really wrong with it. Let me add another one. What Slappy is doing was called a parody. There are different there there are just different sounds coming from our throats after all. Yeah. Okay. Tiger Strike, I'm gonna say this clearly. There's a difference between picking on people you call friends, which is considered ribbing and can be fun, and bashing on people you don't know or like. When you it doesn't matter if they're weak or not. When you're pushing the border on people who you clearly either do not know or do not like, or both, that's bullying. That is bullying. Okay? 
Same with trolling. Trolling is just a form of online bullying. So trolling is a form of being an internet bully, and if you talk about somebody you don't know over the internet, that's considered bullying too. Don't you have a friend called Brawlfan1 who trolled Meta? Wait, yeah, you do. Where's that word again? Oh yeah, here it is. You're two for two, Kenji. Keep up the good work. That's what Slappy was doing. I mean, her last video is a video about how Shadowstar hates her and her friends and whatnot. And what is she doing? She's mimicking being Shadowstar. You're right. You're absolutely right. Slap Happy did impersonate Shadowstar. That's what you do in a parody. But she's not really being Shadowstar. She's being a retarded mental person with a retarded mental voice who claims to be Shadowstar, using every negative imagery of the guy she can find. That is bullying, whether it bothers him or not, or whether he deserves it or not. You it's nice to see that Kenshi's elaborating Shadowstar logic, basically saying that a satire video is the equivalent to bullying. What's next? You're going to say brutal honesty is the equivalent to murder? You do not cross that line if you are a commentator. Truest example of oversensitivity and taking shit way too seriously here, people. Okay, at least if you are a smart and respectable commentator. Even smart and respectable commentators would find this video contradicting. So you know what? I called her out on her bullshit. And there was some arguing. And then later we got to the point where Slappy began to realize, you know, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be a good commentator, and here I am making entire videos of just mocking and bashing people for no good reason. Yes, Slappy has no reason to mock Shadowstar in her videos or bash him, even though Shadowstar has bashed Slappy on numerous occasions, along with a few other people. You know what, just for that... You're a special kind of stupid, aren't you? You know, and don't even say, oh, well, they blah, blah, blah. There is no good reason to stoop to that level, ever. Okay, that's it. I find it funny, though, that you're getting on my case more than any of my other friends. My friend Brawlfram1 had to talk with her, and he ended up helping in the case of, you know, hey, you're being a bully, stop it. You know what I find funny? That Brawlfram1 actually told Slappy that she should stop bullying. Weren't you the one earlier that said that trolling is a form of bullying and people should not do it? Yet, Brawlfan1 basically was trolling Meta, so wouldn't he be considered a bully? What's that word I'm looking for again? Oh, right! Here it is! Congratulations, Kinsey! You're about four for four today. Here's a bag of money. And she listened. And yet, I'm the only one getting flack here. I know why, too. It's because I was with Raushutsu, and everybody loves Raushutsu's commentaries. So, of course, naturally your target will end up being me. I'm okay with that. You know why? Because it just shows that you are all just sad little sods. One, not everybody likes Raushutsu's commentaries. And two, just because you was with Raushutsu doesn't mean that they were automatically going against you. They found something very wrong in what you were saying and they were calling you out on it. Just like how you were calling out Slap Happy on her alleged bullshit. Wait, so anybody that doesn't agree with you is basically pathetic little sods with a pathetic little mental state? Wait, aren't you kind of judging somebody that you don't know who has been calling you out? Isn't that kind of judgmental? I believe it is. And didn't you kind of get on people for talking about somebody they don't know about? Wow. Again, what a contradiction. I don't care. I could not care less about your pathetic lives or your pathetic mental states. If you don't care about anybody's pathetic lives, then why should you give two shits about Slap Happy making a parody on Shadowstar? Jesus, and I thought the Westboro Baptist Church had flawed statements. Or what you think is or is not approvable. You know, if you are bullied or not. What bothers me is the fact that you are being one of those douche mongers who thinks that because I attack Slappy, period, you can attack me back. 
Okay, I'm going to stop the video right there because I don't want to go in further than it already is. I didn't mean for it to go 10 minutes, but hey, what can you do? So I'm going to stop the video right there and close it with my final thoughts. Okay, this entire video was just a walking contradiction. I mean, yes, this is the word of the day, kids, contradiction. This is a perfect example of that. I love how in this video you say that you don't care about anybody's pathetic lives who call you out on how ridiculous this whole entire situation between you and Slappy was in the first place. So you don't care about their lives, but you somehow give a damn that Slappy made a video about Shadowstar? Also, you say that the battle between you and Slappy was already done. Then why in the hell would you make a video responding to them if it was done already? Weren't really thinking, weren't you? Oh, I forgot, it was 8 in the morning, so your brain didn't wake up yet. And judging by this conversation that you talk about in this video that you had with Sa Slappy calling her out, it sounds to me that Slappy basically just stopped talking because she stopped trying to reason with somebody who was as stubborn as a mule. So, after doing that video and getting all of that off my chest, I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm Lounge Styles, and I say good day. I said good day!